Hello, I'm Ondine Brent, a soprano in the Tanglewood Festival Chorus. Forty years ago, when conductor John Oliver was named Director of Vocal and Choral Activities at the Tanglewood Music Center, he suggested to the BSO administration that they let him form a chorus that would be the Boston Symphony Zone. The timing was right, they agreed, and the Tanglewood Festival Chorus was born. Over these past 40 years, the chorus has grown from 60 members in the beginning to more than 250 at present. And over that time, our list of accomplishments has grown too. The chorus sings expertly in many languages, regularly travels to Carnegie Hall with the orchestra, has sung in Europe and the Far East, and has made dozens of recordings. All of this is in addition to the many concerts we perform each season at Symphony Hall and at Tanglewood with the Boston Symphony Orchestra and the Boston Pops. We are all so humbled and proud when at the end of a performance we stand for a bow and the hall erupts with cheers and applause. On such an important occasion as our 40th anniversary, all of us are so glad we've made a direct connection with our listeners and have such an enthusiastic audience. I can honestly say I don't think there's a single occasion where I am not struck by um, the privilege it is to be on stage in front of an audience at Symphony Hall or Carnegie Hall or out at Tanglewood. Um, and uh, on, on every occasion at some point, I'm, I'm, I'm struck by that. Um, I remember when I was a kid, the, the music teachers who said to me, you know what, this is something you should do and something you should continue to do, those that gave me a leg up when I was a young singer. And often, if I'm on stage here at Tanglewood, I think back to individuals who, you know, when I was a, a young developing singer, encouraged me to do this. When I'm auditioning new members, it's, it's difficult because you, they come in the door, they sing an aria or a song for me, they present their credentials. Uh, I don't anymore ask them to read in languages because I can tell quite a lot from the song that they sing and from the experience they list on the form uh, about how much language study they've had or what their language experience is, for example. Uh, they almost all play an instrument. Uh, you have a hard time finding in the batch of people that audition for the Tanglewood Festival Chorus anyone who isn't musically literate. Uh, and usually it's, I played the violin for uh, 20 years, but I haven't played for a long time from somebody who's about 24. I think it was my junior year. So I had been, I had been an instrumentalist. I hadn't sung at all until college. And um, I had been an instrumentalist, and I was, I was right at, at that particular time, I was irritated with this particular musical ensemble that I was in, and I, and I went home that night to, to my, my dorm, and I opened up the mailbox, and there was a little card in there that said, New Student Chorus. And anyone interested, I guess, it was sent to all the people involved in music at MIT, and, and it was from John Oliver, who I had no idea who he was. Um, so he was forming a new chorus. And uh, I showed up. I really enjoyed John's style of music making, and uh, so I stuck with that. I eventually auditioned for another one of his choruses, the Chamber Chorus, and then I took a vocal repertoire and performance class that he taught, and so I continued to take the class throughout graduate school and eventually decided, a few of us from the class decided to audition for the chorus without telling John that we were coming. And so we showed up and he was a little surprised, and he said his worlds were colliding, and he grumbled a little bit. And he took us. Our 40th anniversary celebration begins in April 2010 at Symphony Hall and will end with various events during the 2010-11 season. In the middle is, of course, Tanglewood. Tanglewood is a very special place for the chorus. The chorus was originally founded for performances at Tanglewood, hence its name but quickly earned a major role in the BSO Symphony Hall subscription season as well. Tanglewood is where John Oliver leads the chorus in our own a cappella concerts in Ozawa Hall and where our members become completely immersed in the music making. After all, every summer for 40 years, TFC members have packed up their families and headed to the Berkshires for many days at a time simply to make music. What could be better? When you stand on stage in the shed at Tanglewood, your, your view out to the lawn is framed by 13 different panels. So you have um, poles that, that hold up the shed and it frames the, the view by 13 different panels. And um, I have memories of my children coming to Tanglewood 
and walking across the lawn as a as a, um, a practice comes, the rehearsal comes to a close, and you know we've agreed to meet at the end of the rehearsal time, and very often I'll stand out there and I'll still be able to see my little redheaded daughter Jessie who's now grown and, and lives in Chile or my little son Ben who is about to be 30 years old you know pushing the carriage with Jessie in it walking across the lawn um, and uh, I, I think the the involvement of my family out at Tanglewood and the memories that they have being out there and, and sharing this this experience with me is, is uh, the first thing that comes to mind. Along with a year's worth of performances the chorus anniversary will also be marked in April 2010 by the release of a new CD. Taken from live prelude concert performances, the music is just a very small selection of works we all dearly love, specially chosen by John Oliver to share with our listeners. It certainly is an exciting time in the history of the Tanglewood Festival Chorus. I hope you'll join us in Symphony Hall or at Tanglewood to be a part of the celebration. Here's to the next 40 years of glorious music.